The baby was born and grew to be a boy. When he was about 12, he went to the temple in Jerusalem and taught the rabbis and priests and learned from them too. Jesus grew to be a man and went to the Jordan River where he was baptized by his cousin John. Afterwards, he crossed the Jordan River into the desert. He was there for 40 days and 40 nights where he was tempted but always said no. Jesus began his work. His work was to come close to people and make them well. He told parables and headed towards Jerusalem for the last time. After he had shared a meal with his friends, Jesus was arrested by the temple guards and his friends ran away. That night was a confusing one. And in the morning, Jesus was led outside the city walls and was crucified. On that Friday, he died and the sky turned black. They took Jesus from the cross and laid him in a cave and rolled a big stone in front of it, like a door. On that Saturday, it was so quiet. It was almost as though you could hear the earth breathe. On Sunday morning, the women came to the tomb. They were the only ones who had the courage. They just wanted to be close to Jesus. They wanted to remember, even if it was sad. But when they arrived, the stone had been rolled away and the tomb was empty. Jesus was alive again in a new way, especially in the bread and the wine. You cannot have this side without this side. And you cannot have this side without this side. You cannot take them apart. And that is the mystery of Easter. And it makes all the difference.